Hello everyone. This is another video on my thoughts on the COVID vaccine. There has been too many theories and too many videos and fake news and WhatsApp messages out there that the COVID vaccine can alter your DNA and implant a chip into your body in order to control you. And the funny one is that the COVID vaccine can affect the functioning of your penis. Please stay out of all those theories and keep your eyes on Jesus Christ, the son of the living God. Do not be afraid and don't think that the Antichrist has risen and that people are out to implant a chip in your body. The reason why this news are spreading fast among the black community and this false news is spreading fast is because among the black community and among the African people in the United Kingdom, there is a general feeling that the Antichrist has arisen and that when you take the COVID vaccine, it will implant a chip into your body. Every time there is a major shock to the world, the church always thinks that this must be the Antichrist. At one point, it was Napoleon Bonaparte in France. Because this guy was conquering the whole of Europe, churches began to teach that the Antichrist has risen. Then he died. Then it was Benito Mussolini of Italy. When this guy came on the scene, churches began to teach, ah, this guy must be the Antichrist. Then he died. Then Hitler arose in Germany. When Hitler arose, churches began to teach, definitely, this guy must be the Antichrist. I'm not a scientist. I'm a parish priest, a clerk in holy orders. All these theories are not biblical. There is a disease out there killing people. Coronavirus is deadly and has taken more than 100,000 people in this country and over 600,000 people in the United States. And you think that there is a conspiracy out there to take over the world and put chips into people's body? Please think again. This is a serious pandemic. There is an invisible force, an invisible disease out there killing people. Don't think it is a conspiracy theory to take over the world. Jesus spoke about this in Matthew 24 verses 7 to 8. If you have a debtor in your bathroom, go and pick up that debtor and read the label on it. You will find that coronavirus is written on it, on the debtor that is sold in our supermarkets. Coronavirus have been around for a long time. It is just that this particular strain is very peculiar, yet scientists have developed a vaccine to combat this deadly disease. Do you think America will destroy its economy to the tune of 20 trillion in order to put a chip in people's body? Do you think that Britain, the United Kingdom, will destroy its economy to the tune of 2.3 trillion in order to put chip into people's body, in order to implant chips into people's body. And it is very sad that ministers of churches who are supposed to build the body of Christ, who are supposed to encourage the body of Christ, these are the same ministers that are misleading and misinforming the public taking videos and patching it up together to mislead the body of Christ. This nonsense has to stop. My friends, let us not put fear in people. We are Christians. We are children of God. Let us use this as a chance, as an opportunity to minister to our friends, to our families, to our neighbors who are cursing God and laughing at Jesus. Let us use this as an opportunity to evangelize the world. Let us use this to populate the kingdom of God. Let us use this to spread the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ and win more souls to the kingdom of God.
Please, if you get the chance, go and take the vaccine and protect yourself from the virus. Protect your family from the virus and stay alive and stay safe. We shall overcome this. When all of this is over, we will be able to go about our business. We will be able to go back to church and sing and dance and give thanks to God. Please, I encourage you to take the vaccine and protect yourself from being killed by this invisible force, by this invisible disease. The scientists and the doctors and the consultants and top professors who have developed this vaccine, don't forget that they were all made in the image of God, like you and your family. Shalom. Peace. <laughs>